sorry. We humans don't like bugs. We're on a constant quest to kill them all, which manifests itself in many ways. One such way is genetically modifying seeds to make crops resistant to bugs so giant corporations can make obscene amounts of money. But now the bugs are fighting back. Here's the story. The wonderful companies of Monsanto, Dow Chemical, DuPont, and Syngenta make genetically modified BT corn seeds. Plant geneticists make the seeds by inserting a gene from the BT bacterium. The BT bacteria make these tiny crystal-like proteins in every little corn kernel. Those crystals act like poison in the insect's stomachs. So when they eat the GMO corn, they die in a few days. Seeds modified with BT bacteria DNA have been used for more than 30 years to help farmers increase crop output. But now, the seeds are no longer working, according to farmers in Brazil who've bought BT corn seeds from those wonderful companies. They say the corn leaf worm no longer dies after eating the genetically modified corn. The farmers have had to spray up to three coats of pesticides this year on the GMO corn crops, costing them a fortune. They're now asking the wonderful GMO seed companies to reimburse them for those costs, since their products didn't do what they promised to. The Brazilian government is now concerned, too, that these seed technologies have left the country vulnerable to pest outbreaks and dependent on toxic chemicals made by these wonderful companies. In response, the wonderful companies are saying they warned Brazilian farmers to plant part of the field with conventional seeds to prevent bugs from mutating and developing resistance to GMO seeds. The farmers say they did that as best as they could, but that it's really hard to even find seeds that haven't been screwed around with genetically anymore. They say if the wonderful companies don't reimburse them for the pesticide spraying, they may file lawsuits. So, the next time you're sitting down to a delicious meal of corn, and if you live in the U.S., that's pretty much every meal, since corn's in everything, Remember that not only is that corn probably genetically modified, but it's also now probably covered with pesticides. Honestly, when is humanity going to learn that we need to figure out how to coexist with a lot of the bugs we hate? The more we try to kill those bugs off, the more resistant they become to our lines of defense and the stronger they end up becoming. Sooner or later, we're going to have to stop blindly chasing financial profits and learn that the more we fight the bugs, the more they're going to fight back. And since there's trillions more of them who can mutate pretty damn fast, they will win. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.